Um, is this really a picture of you on stage with Clapton, or did you paste your head on some other guy's body to impress a woman? No, that's me. That's me there with Pete Townsend, and that's me with John Mayo, and that's me with my old band. Do you mind if I ask you something? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? <laughs> you see that? That's a 1957 Fender Stratocaster. Once played by Jimi Hendrix himself. I saw that in the music store window 20 years ago. That's when I started biking. I was gonna make enough money so I can buy it. It was gonna make me a legend. <laughs> Doesn't look like you play it very much. Yeah, well, isn't exactly the right venue for a legend, right? Besides, things have to be have to be right inside here, or else uh, the music just doesn't come. Huh. Well, things sure look right in these pictures. It's a shame you don't play anymore. Yeah, I might give it another shot someday. You know, I'd like to save enough money to buy my own little club place where I could go to play the good music. I keep it real simple, just a, a single chair on stage with a light that would hit me just right, but subtle, because that's the kind of guy I am. Hi, Ed Foley. Ed Foley's Courier. Tell your boss, Johnny, that Ed Foley of Ed Foley's Courier is here to see you. That voice, I know that voice. Johnny! Come here, you! Eddie. You old son of a gun, you! Eddie. Come here! Come on, come to Eddie! Come here! Come here! Come here! Here you are! Hey, do you guys know your boss here was my first bike messenger? So, quite a place you've got here, Johnny. You should see my place now. Carpets, leather, paintings of hunting scenes. You know how rich I am now, Johnny? I spent a hundred grand on a boat and I don't even use it. Oh, I know the feeling. I got a blender last year. I never even took it out of the box. You're poor, but you can still joke. It's something I don't understand. Johnny! Let's cut to the chase. You try to be a businessman and you're licking dirt, buddy boy. I bet you can't pay your guys half what I pay my guys. I'm here to buy you out, Johnny. Make this place a part of Ed Foley's courier. In fact, I even brought a check with me. How does this figure look to you? Oh, what, are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> it's a lot of money, Eddie. You're darn right it is. You got clients I want. So just tell me we've got a deal and you can go back to playing your little songs or whatever you do, buddy boy. Eddie, you got yourself a deal. All right! <laughs> Mr. Foley, the name's Leo. I'm here to assist you in any way possible. Can I just ask at this juncture, will I be getting boat privileges or is that... Get away from me! Who said anything about you guys? I don't need any more messengers. I have plenty of my own. I got a two o'clock. I'll see you later. No, oh, 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 wait, wait a minute, Eddie. What are you talking about? These are my people, man. Times are bad. They need jobs. You don't take my people. That's, uh... I don't know if I can sell. So don't sell. I was just trying to be nice because we go back. Truth is, I can put you out of business by undercutting your prices. I'm rich, remember? So there'll always be new clients. And they'll all come to me. Sudden advertising just opened this week. They got to be worth 18 grand a year. Who do you think they call? Not you. Deal's off, Eddie. So why don't you just go down to the docks, get into your yacht, and sail off to the Isle of Bald Guys? Hey! All right, it was cheap, it was childish, but who here didn't enjoy it, huh? <laughs> You know, 
You really should grow up someday, Johnny. You're going to be like these losers the rest of your life. Now, what are you looking at? What do you mean everything's going to be all right? We're finished. My father was right. I'm going to wind up selling my blood for a living. Excuse me. I'm steeping, Barkley. Uh, I've done something, something you may want to get involved in. I have sudden advertising on the phone. I'm through steeping. 18,000 a year, I just called to chat. The receptionist's name is Kelly, has slight agoraphobia, some food issues. Interesting woman, needs some work. Boss's name is Peter. I have him on hold. Take the call, boss. This is our shot. Now, what's the use? Uh, Foley already said they have the account. Oh, man, what have all the leaders gone? Give me this. Yeah, yo, Pete. Yeah, Frank Kafka, executive VP here at Double Rush. No, you're speeding around the bush. We want your business, and we're going to get it. Now, you assume you have a family, and you'd like him to remain healthy. Yeah, right? But hey, what's the matter with you? Yo, Pete. Pete. Yeah, how you doing? This is this is Johnny Verona. Listen, I'm going to be completely straight with you because I got nothing to lose. We want your business and we deserve it. Because we think we're the best. All we want is a chance to take Foley on. Give us each a package. Give us each a package. Whoever makes the drop first gets your account. Come on, man. You... Haven't you ever had to fight for something? No, that's, that's great. Great. All right, you heard the deal. Foley's best messenger versus ours. Winner takes all. It's up to me, isn't it, Mr. Verona? Hunter, you're the only man I know that can beat a fax machine. Look, I'm going to give you the radio. Hunter, you're going to keep in constant contact. Now, you leave from their place by five. Rush hour? Extremely dangerous? Superb! <laughs> Town. Uh, avoid the Bloomingdale's area. They're having a Don and Karen sale. It's a zoo. Hunter. <laughs> Hunter, avoid 59th Street. Will you stop reading the want ads? You're making me nervous. Hey, you think I could pass myself off as the head of dermatology at New York Hospital? 85,000 a year, man. You know, you're 20 years old. How did you become so cynical? Hey, I got my reasons. You try growing up the way I did. I want you to go to 55th Street. Go, go to 55th Street and then cut back. Yeah, that's very nice. You give me to open up and then you'll blow me. What, what, you pick now to bear your soul? Hey, can a feeling person control when these things happen, man? <laughs> That's when my father booted me out of the house. Three years ago. Instead of bailing me out of Juvie Hall, he had my furniture shipped down to the cell. We haven't talked since, but for some stupid reason, every year I buy him a card and every year I throw it out because I can't figure out what the hell to say to the man. Excuse me, I think we have a problem. Hunter's turned on to fifth. Oh, no. Gay Pride. It's the Gay Pride Parade today. Hunter, Hunter, do not be alarmed. I would like you to stay away from Fifth. Do you understand, Hunter? Stay away from... He's down. Oh. Slammed right into the Gay War Veterans Flag. That's Hunter. He's never gone down. The bike's totaled. The float crushed it. It was an F-16 made of zinnias. Oh. Hey, check it out. United's looking for pilots. No, 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 Marlon. We don't have enough time. Look, do we have anyone down there already? Well, the kid a block away. 